What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I got a new video for you guys. It's something I have not done. Um, I know it's been done plenty of times on YouTube. That's not what I'm saying. It's just I have not done it personally. So you guys know I do glam bag unboxings. I do Sephora Play and Ipsy every month. Um, and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do a full face using glam bag subscription makeup. So I have gathered everything that I could find that I still have. Uh, I have setting sprays. I have lipsticks and eyeliners and eye primers mascara brow products and even eyeshadows and blushes and bronzer um, so I literally have basically a full face of makeup for you guys um, so I don't know this should be really really interesting and then I thought it'd be kind of cool once we're done to go ahead and take everything day off with the two items that I have received the eye remover pads um, the Clinique take the day off and then we're going to try the peel off mask at the end so this is going to be a very interesting video and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and get started so one of the items that I received for a moisturizer of course is the belief aqua balm um, I actually really like the way that this feels it works really well on my skin so we're just gonna put that on there I like the cooling effect that it has. Um, no, it smells really good. It dries up pretty quickly. All right, so as far as eyeshadows go, um, I have two. I have the Luna eyeshadow and then the Ofra Cosmetics. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this eyeshadow um, and use this as a highlighter because this was absolutely stunning. Um, so we're going to use this as an eyeshadow. Now I even went as far as grabbing all my brushes that I have received from my glam bags. Um, so these are the brushes that I have received so far. We got a highlighting brush, a blending brush, packing brush. Um, so I will be using only these brushes. So for eye primer, uh, I have the Laura Mercier uh, eye primer in the color Wheat. I have been using this eye primer uh, for quite some time and I actually do enjoy it. I still like to use my Urban Decay, um, of course, but uh, that will always be my, my first go-to. But this is definitely a good second. It gives a good base to my eyes um, and it definitely helps with creasing as well. All right. So now I do not have a crease color, so I'm just gonna pick a palette real fast. Um, we're gonna go in with Soft Glam Palette and I'm just gonna put, we're gonna go in with Orange Soda. I'm gonna take my Luxie, actually, you know what? I wanna take my new blending brush that I got. Uh, this is from Elizabeth Mott and I'm gonna put Orange Soda in my crease. Oh, this brush is so soft oh I love it it's not too soft where it won't do the job either but it is very very soft all right so I'm gonna go in with the color rustic since the Luna shade is really really dark it's kind of deepen that crease up just a little bit I know this is the brush doing this, but that's not blending the best. So I'm gonna switch brushes. And we're gonna go in with my Luxie brush. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Luna. Um, Luna by Luna, this is Spice Pumpkin. So I'm gonna take my Luxie small shader brush that I received and we're gonna pack that on the lid. You know what? 
this is probably going to be good for like doing a cut crease where I do uh, a shade on my inner corner, but it is just not big enough to go over my whole entire eye. So I'm going to switch to uh, this eyeshadow brush that I had got and see if that will help. Yeah, that covers more space. That is such a pretty color. Oh yeah. All right, let's go back in with some rustic and kind of blend that. All right, so we have that done. Now I have two different eyeliners that I have received. Um, this is from Beauty For Real. So this one, that right there. And of course the Ciate London. I have actually used this several times. I do like it. Dude, not cool. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to do the Ciate London on the top, and then I'm going to kind of try and smudge this one on the lower lash line. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right. So let's see. So this is going to happen every time. Oh my gosh. I mean, really? All right, so let's see. I don't want to do the lower lash line just yet because we do have a foundation to use and a primer, so I'm going to use those first. Um, so I received the Becca First Light Priming Filter. So we're going to use this to prime our face. I have never tried this before. So, ooh, -hoo, purple. Can you see? Purple. Ah, very liquidy. I don't know if I like, yeah, I don't really like this and all that. So let's see. It feels a little sticky. So we're going to let that dry for a minute. Now, I, w I do have the um, Makeup Forever skin tint that I have tried before in a previous video. Um, so I didn't really want to use that. Now, I did just receive this one. It is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. This is definitely not going to be my color. Okay, let me just tell you that right now. But I'll be think it'll be worth it for uh, today's video. Normally, I do like to use a sponge, but I have to actually wash mine. So we're not going to be able to use that today. And then my really nice foundation brush, of course, is dirty. So I won't be using that so we're gonna go in with a tart brush that I have gotten for last Christmas oh this should be fun Ooh, I did not mean to put that much on okay here we go Okay, so you can see this is definitely not my color. It's like really dark. <laughs> I know what what bag this came from. This came from Sephora Play. Sorry, Sephora, you got it wrong. Um, they gave me this shade in 40. So way off. I do like the finish of it. It, I would not say this is full coverage though because you can still see can you see that right there yeah you can still see my little 
bump right there. You can see my freckle. You can see my moles. So, all right, moving on. We are just going to keep on pushing through this process. So let's go back to the eyes. I said I was going to use the um, Beauty For Real on my lower lash line. All right. All right, so that went on pretty smoothly. Um, so I I like that one. All right, for mascara, we're gonna use both sides. Um, they had sent me the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So this is what it looks like right here. Um, you have the mascara on this side and the primer on this side. So we're gonna start with the primer and see if it helps. I don't know if it's really doing anything. Um, the applicator, I don't know, it's just like all the stuff gets sucked inside because it's so spread apart. So I don't really feel that I can get anything on my eyelashes. I felt like I just kind of stuck them all together. All right, so we're gonna go in with the mascara now. Okay, so that is the mascara. Uh, I really don't like the brush. I really don't like the wand, and the primer just kind of made it seem like made my eyelashes sticky, um, and it kind of clumped them together. So I really didn't like that. I don't. I guess I should have read the instructions first. Um, I didn't wait for it to dry. I just kind of put on the primer and then went straight to the mascara. I don't know if that was the appropriate way to use it, but. That's the way I did. Okay, so not that I need to make myself any darker than this foundation does because I this foundation is way too dark, but I did receive a bronzer in one of my bags and it was this cute little Lisa Frank bronzer. I haven't really used it just because of the fact I kind of wanted to keep it because it is so cute and Lisa Frank was like huge, huge when I was in school. So. I really just wanted to keep it as a little momentum. Uh, this was the packaging. I think it is so, so cute. Uh, so we're gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics brush. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and bronze. Even though the foundation's too dark. Oh. Not gonna use too much because, like I said, foundation's too dark. Hmm. All right, I'm only gonna do, <laughs> I'm only gonna do my forehead, so. That's insane. I'm sorry, I can't get over the color of this foundation that they sent me, it's, it's ridiculous. Like if you're gonna send a foundation, at least, Make sure that it's lighter so I can always bronze up because I can't do nothing with this. Like, I'm going to have to throw it away. There's no way I would go out in public with this shade. Uh-uh. Not going to do it. <sighs> All right. So, I received the Tarte Feisty Blush. I do love this blush. All right, you know what? I almost forgot. I do have a brow product. I have the Benefit Gimme Brow. See, I do really 
like this product. I think they sent this one in the right shade color for me. I just definitely would go back and fill this in because I don't think that is all I need because I do have some space right in here. I don't know if you can tell on camera uh, that, you know, the gimme brow doesn't really help with. So I would have to use this and a pencil. All right, so the bottom eyeliner is definitely not waterproof because my eyes have been watering and uh, it has already completely come off on my lower lash line. Um, we have the Ofra eyeshadow that I just received. And like I said, we're gonna use this as a highlight because it was just so stunning and so blinding. And I'm gonna use the Ipsy Tapered Highlight Brush So do I want to go in with the Real Her, Real Her Girl Power lipstick or Anastasia Beverly Hills that I received? Well, because I have um, this in a full size, I actually do love this one and I have used it before. Let's go ahead with the Girl Power and try it out because I have not tried this one yet. We have left is the sugar goop setting mist with the SPF which of course I don't need because it's like um, 11 o'clock at night uh, but I have not used this yet I know I wanted to and I never got a chance to so it says shake well close eyes mist over face for uh, 15 minutes prior to sun exposure which obviously I don't need that uh, reapply at least every two hours if you want the SPF of course um, or at least I'm hoping that is only for the SPF. I love that noise. Okay, so uh, I don't remember how this sprays. Let's. Oh, okay. All right, that is a fine mist. So here we go. Oof. <coughs> okay. Oof. I don't really feel that that set my face at all. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's too fine of a mist. I think it'd be good for <sighs> maybe for the sun protection because I definitely smell it in there. Kind of smells like double mint gum. But as far as setting your face, I don't think so. So let's go in within some MAC Prep Prime. Love this stuff. Now that feels better. Now that feels like I have set my face and I'm ready to go. Um, so we've been able to create a full face of makeup with all of my subscription boxes. All right, so aside from the foundation being a total flop, I know I've said it like throughout this whole entire video, um, it is not my shade whatsoever. It's nothing that I can work with. It's I actually really like the way that this turned out. I think the eyeshadow is gorgeous. The mascara actually looks really good. Um, the brow product, I love the color. I, I like that it kind of made my eyebrows stick. Uh, I would have to go back in with a pencil. The bronzer is beautiful. Uh, the blush is beautiful. The Ofra eyeshadow is not only beautiful, um, but it works as a highlight as well. So I have that here and on my brow bone. The Girl Power lipstick actually feels really, really nice on the lips. Um, it is a very, very pretty color. I think it actually complements this look quite well um like i said the mist <laughs> i would not purchase this um it was nice to try out but um this is definitely only going to be for spf this is not going to be for setting your face it, it it didn't do that you know what i would totally wear this look with a different foundation 
um, but I totally dig this eye look. I really like the lipstick and I think it just really came together. Um, so, you know, this is one of the reasons that I do love these glam bags. I get some really good products, stuff I don't own, stuff I haven't tried yet, things I haven't even thought to try, and that's what makes it so exciting. So that's why I do Ipsy and Sephora. This was a very successful look, which I am about to destroy. <laughs> so we are going to take our eye remover pads that I just received. I have actually already used this once and I think it they're really, really nice. I'm going to have to buy a bag like for real, for real. So goodbye makeup. done you see how easy that was that is like mascara's gone eyeliner's gone eyeshadow's gone oh yeah i highly highly recommend these it was so easy to take off my eye makeup it did not sting at all you only needed two pads and you're done um so these are the wipes right here go get you some because these are awesome all right so i got some uh, just some cotton pads that I got from Ulta and we're gonna go in with the Clinique take the day off to take the rest of our makeup off okay so I am back to my original self so yes we're coming down to the last step that we are going to do and we're going to do a mask so we're gonna do the pure heels by Nature Village Pore Clear Black Charcoal Peel Off Mask. I just received this in the Ipsy bag. So it says directions, apply a generous even layer to clean dry skin, avoid, <laughs> avoiding eye area, lips and hairline. Specifically says lips and hairline. Um, so yeah, we gotta be careful with that, huh? Leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Once completely dry, uh, gently peel off from outer edges. Rinse off excess with warm water. This doesn't spread very well. Alright, so this is all I'm going to do for now. Um, I'm going to go wash my hand and time myself for 20 to 30 minutes and I'll be right back. So, I can barely talk. It is completely dry. Definitely has been 30 minutes and I have no idea how I'm going to start peeling this off. Oh my god. Okay, it says, mm, one's completely dry. Yep. Uh... Gently peel off from outer edges. Okay. This is an outer edge, but how the heck am I supposed to get it up? There we go. Oh. You know what? That is oddly satisfying. Stings a little bit. Ow. Oh, it's pulling my skin. Look at that. Is this supposed to do that? Ow. Oh, God. I would never buy this. Oh. Ow. This is what Ipsy sent me. So, oof, I'm glad I didn't. Oh my goodness. Oof, look at that. Oh, this is so painful. I have never done a peel mask before. Is it supposed to be like this? Because it fucking hurts. And excuse my language, but it does. I'm about to go wash this shit off. 
Yeah. All right. That's what I'm going to do. It hurts too bad. I'm going to go wash it off instead of peeling it off and I'll be right back. Okay. So I don't know if all peel off masks are like that because that was my very first one. Um, number one, I'll probably never do a peel off mask ever again. Okay. Look at the redness. Oh, it was so painful. Oh my gosh, this side right here um, wasn't that bad. And then I got to this side, I guess I had more peach fuzz on this side, but it definitely clinged on to it. So, you know what? I need to put something on. Let's put, let's do this. Let's do some. This is another little sample I got, actually. It's from the Clinique. Uh, it's the Clinique Moisture Surge. So, maybe this will help cool it off a little bit. You know what? I would never pass this on. So, this is trash. All right, guys. So, that is it for this video. I have used every product that I have uh, complete for the face. We if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, would you guys like to see more videos like this? Maybe after a couple months, gather all my products that I receive in my glam bags and do kind of like a series on this. Um, if that is something you guys are interested in, just let me know down below. I would definitely be more than happy to turn that into a series for you guys. So don't forget to hit that big red button before you go if you're not already subscribed. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those linked down below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. And a mask that I will never use again, ever. If I get this as a, a sample, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, seriously, I can't get it up. That's what he said. Um, or at least I'm hoping that is only for the SPF. I love that noise. Just kidding.